According to a U.S. Census data, Fairfax County, Virginia is the second richest county in the U.S. Yet the women of Fairfax are not spared from the rise in violence. In 2009, the Fairfax County Police Department responded to about 8,000 domestic violence-related calls. Faith, a nonprofit organization that has been reaching out to abuse Muslim women since 1999. Bridges World News reporter Richard Concepcion has more. My husband, he uh, always torturing, uh, the fighting me and the slapping me, and is uh, is torturing the kids also, uh, slapping and uh, uh, he, he he left us in that situation that we have no grocery, no money. This woman, he, whom we shall call by the name of Shanaz, is a survivor of abuse by the hands of her husband. She is one of many Muslim women who have escaped domestic abuse with the help of faith. The nonprofit organization based in Fairfax County, Virginia, teaches women to look out for red flags. Shinaz says that in public, her husband was the perfect gentleman. My husband, if you see him, he's just like a, see a very kind-hearted man, very gentle-looking, very well-educated, uh, very well-dressed man. Uh, you never judge him by looking at him. By uh, Faith uh, Executive Director Ambrin Ahmed was a victim of domestic abuse herself. The organization first opened its doors in 1999. Since then, they have handled many different types of abuse cases. In these 12 years, we have served over 500 women. Most of the cases uh, have uh, physical abuse around maybe uh, 60 to 70 percent and um, in which there's, uh, it can be shoving, uh, pushing, uh, hitting, uh, kicking um, and uh, there's also uh, sexual abuse and uh, psychological abuse. Um, and uh, economic abuse. I have gone Faith before. caseworker Kathy says that most abusers come from an abusive home themselves. What we have noticed through those past six years as we have been collecting data is like usually the abuser come from a family where he himself experienced abuse or did witness abuse. Uh, usually directly from his father abu abusing his mother, uh, father abusing the sisters, some relative abusing the children or their wives. So usually... Shanaz mistakenly thought that part of being a good Muslim wife was that she had to suffer in silence. I just pretending that I am happy there and uh, because I want to, I want to live with them. They, they, I, I was married and uh, in my culture, if I'm married, I have to uh, sacrifice, I have to live. Ambrin Ahmed says that Muslim women like Shanaz, who stay with their abusive husbands, are not aware that domestic violence violates the teachings of Islam. She says that most Muslim women who feel trapped in their marriage have to make a change before it becomes a matter of life and death. Domestic violence defy all the teachings of Islam and is condemned and rejected by our religion. The victims felt trapped in their abusive marriages. They were una unaware of the rights and options provided to them in Islam due to their lack of Islamic knowledge. Islam does not support abuse. Uh, the men and women have uh, equal rights. Uh, equal values, so one should not dominate to each other. Uh, the man has their own jobs, the women have their own job, they have, they should be kind to each other. I have seen that m Muslim women, uh, they don't want to leave their home. They want to be uh, with their husband, they want to have an, uh, a, a family where there is husband, wife and children. Uh, they uh, want to sacrifice a lot for that. But when they reach out for help, it's in a situation where it is impossible to live and there is no other option left 
except to live or to die. Shinaz is lucky to be alive. She says she survived the abuse mainly because her husband abandoned her. With the help of more organizations like Faith, Muslim women can gain the knowledge they need to fight back and survive an abusive marriage. The, the faith, this is the only, only uh, home. It's my home. Now, Alhamdulillah, I thank God. This is very, very, uh, I'm in good situation. And uh, I am, I'm working, uh, I'm taking care of my kids also. And um, I, they are studying and I am also working. Reporting from Washington, D.C., Richard Concepcion, Bridges World News.